Hey guys, Overkill48 here again with another video. This time is my recent haul and unboxings that I've got. So sit back and enjoy. Hope you like it. First up is going to be from Toys R Us. Um, I ended up making another trip there. And I got some cool stuff. So I'll show you some right here. Dragon Ball Super. Spin Battlers Vegeta. Got this for two bucks. Not bad. It's not the best thing, but it's pretty cool to add to the collection. And then I got another Dragon Ball Super figure. Another Vegeta. This is Super Saiyan Vegeta with breakaway armor. There's three that they make. They got Vegeta, Goku, and Frieza. Hopefully I'll find them all eventually. But, you know, once again, another $2 find. Awesome. Then one more Dragon Ball item I found. Marked down for two bucks. It's this very awesome poster. Pretty killer. Couldn't pass that up. It was the last one there. Um, they only got like two rows of aisles. Um, stack that they've got with figures and stuff and their posters are still setting up and most of them are gone but the ones in the display are still for sale this was the last Dragon Ball Super one there score next I got a Mega Construct Saban's Power Rangers Command Center come with a putty Alpha 5 and Zack or Adam, depending on which Black Ranger you prefer. You can see Zoran in the back. Got this sucker for three bucks. Another, another awesome purchase at awesome price. And then the last purchase for myself from Toys R Us is I found me a Spartan from Halo 5. You can see it's Kelly 087. Got some pretty killer effects stuff in there to uh, change out the armor appearance shows you a little bit about it here comes with pieces to the crawler she has I don't know what pieces she comes with let's see looks like four so she's got the head in there somewhere yeah it's down in the, the base of the package I know you guys can't really see it in there too good that little white is the head to the crawler. That's pretty cool. Next up is my sole eBay purchase. Um, if you remember of Plastic Cannibals or Toy Savage, just shout out to both channels. Be sure to check both of these out. Um, great groups uh, on Facebook. And if you're uh, down to earth and want to help other people out, be sure to check them out. And we'd be glad to have you in them. But my eBay purchase finally landed me a lasher. Comes with a lizard head. This is for my mint on box collection. To go with my symbiotes. Perfect timing considering the Venom Wave. It's coming out very soon. Hopefully in the next couple months. Add more to my collection then. Alright. Next it's looking like my Amazon purchase which is my Power Rangers Green Ranger life-size helmet awesome addition to my Green Ranger Tommy and my, slash Mighty Morphin Power Ranger collection I mainly collect his stuff unless other stuff's a good deal it's gonna look killer in my case that I got awesome Go Green Ranger. The box is a little banged up, but it's okay. I'm going to open it up, put it on my display. Alright, next up is a package from a good friend, David Blucher. Be sure to check out his channel. Um, another great member of Toy Savages and Plastic Cannibals as well. 
and he was nice enough to gift me this. Pretty much said, ah, if you see something in one of my future videos, that he'll hook, you know, I'll hook him up. I told him, no problem. He's a big dinosaur collector. Maybe he'll win that uh, Jurassic World Funko I'm giving away. Let's get this open. He showed me a messenger what was coming. Let me get these. All right, more for the Hot Wheels collection for me and my son. We got us. What year is this? What '69 Corvette? Pretty killer. Get a good look at it. Corvette Stingray. Dig it. And the next. So he knew I was collecting them, so he offered it up to me. Let's see if we got the year on this one. This one is. Well, it's just a Chevy Camaro concept. Awesome Camaro for the collection. I dig the blue and yellow. It's uh, two of my favorite colors, actually. Pretty cool. Let's see the Camaro, the Corvette. We are Team Chevy fans in this house, and that's particularly mainly what we collect in Hot Wheels wise, unless we find something else cool. Thank you again, David Bluger. I will find you something awesome in return. I appreciate it. Torn will be stoked. He's in bed right now. It's kind of late here. You can kind of see it's dark if you look outside. Um, so he hasn't got to see him yet. But he will be super excited about it. And next up. My good buddy Alex over at Ageless Geeks. Once again, guys, be sure to check them out as well. I know a lot of people's talking about the X-Men wave and the Venom wave. Deadpool Wave 2, a lot of these Marvel Legends coming out. Um, this is a group I've been telling you guys about. Uh, you need to hit him up. Um, he's a great guy to work with on pre-orders. And usually he don't ask for much going down for a deposit. And if you establish yourself there, you can just pay when it gets there. You can make payments up until it comes out. Whichever way you prefer. But Alex Blast is a very solid dude. Be sure hit up Ageless Geeks. Let me know. I'll add you myself. That way he knows that I'm bringing in somebody good. I know a lot of you guys on some of the groups I mentioned before are solid so I trust you guys. I'd be glad to add you in if you're ever looking for any of that. So what did I get? I don't really remember. Lose me a to Ageless Geeks. Or drill. Very well packaged, protected, taped. He takes care of stuff. And if he don't, he takes care of you, making sure that you get something good in return. All right. This is old Overkill's haul. And this box got me my SH Figure Arts Majin Vegeta. Well, we got a lot of Vegeta fans. He had a pretty killer moment in uh, DBZ. Uh, a little turnaround moment for him to finally get away from the evil stuff. Majin Vegeta. I love the little window packaging because for people like me who collect these in box, you can see them really good. It's going to be hard not to open this one though. I had a lot of complaints people talking about in the groups. That I'm in for Dragon Ball Z. By the way, I am a mod in Dragon Ball Z Coalition. So if you're a DBZ fan uh, of any type, let me know and I will add you in. But they were talking about not looking good with the neck and stuff. I think he looks great. Well, you can't tell much with him in package, but yeah, he looks great. No complaints from me. Next is a little off the wall one, another figure eyes mechanics uh, 
Dr. Slump. I cannot remember how to pronounce her name. Arel? Arel, I think is how it is. I wanted this in particular because she appears... She's a non-canon, uh, like a filler type character. But she appears originally in the original Dragon Ball. Helping Goku out. She's super strong and she can't be beat because she's a comedy character. She showed back up in Dragon Ball Super. I don't want to tell too much about it. In case some of you guys are dub watchers. Because you've not got to that point yet. But I needed it to go with my Dragon Ball collection. She's got the poo on the stick. Woo. That's some crap. But... I'll build this. I'd say let's do a speed build for this one day, guys. I've not done one of them in a long time. I keep saying I'm going to. Let's do it. What you think so far? Pretty killer additions. Thank you again, Blooker. And I've got one last package. This one is from USA Opoly. This is actually from Instagram contest I won last month. Um, Sandman PR Vlog Party members, I tagged them in it to try to help me win it. But let's get this thing open. They got this thing taped down tight too. Pretty killer prize to win, though. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Yahtzee. I did not have it. I do have Monopoly. I did not have Yahtzee. Four Star Ball. That's a different character. You see Gohan, Piccolo, Trunks, Vegeta, and Cell. That's cool. Dragon Ball Z, the fight begins. Get ready to face off with America's number one dice game. The four-star Dragon Ball Cup is a key to the game. Use custom dice featuring Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, Trunks, Piccolo, and Cell, just like I had mentioned, to see who is the most powerful. Roll your way to victory with classic do combination dice. Whoa, I screwed that up. Classic dice combinations like Full House, Large Straight, and Five of a Kind. Take a look at the package. The UPC. Shinron. And my boy, Goku. Dragon Ball Z Yahtzee. This is going to be cool. Um, I'm nitpicky about stuff, so I may open it to play it. I did open up my Monopoly, just so you guys know. I know you guys see me more of an inbox, but I did open it and play it with the family. So this will probably get open too. Most of the stuff I got will probably be open at some point. So, that looks like that is everything for this video. Um, I'm looking to see if there's anything I may have missed. That looks like it's going to be it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. But I do want to say on a more serious note before I end this, a uh, shout-out... To my good friend Raymond Costanza, RC Cola, Cola Break. Um, he just lost his brother the other day. And I just wanted to tell you that thoughts and prayers of the Wallace family are with you, man. You're like a brother to us. Um, you're always messaging us. We've known you for a little over a year now. Super guy. Um, if you guys don't remember who he is, he's the one who sent me the uh, Deadpool plushie. And he was so excited about it. He's such a friendly guy. Um, guys, go check his channel out. Show him some love. Show him some support in this hard time. Um, like I told you on Facebook Messenger, RC, you need anything or just a chat or whatever, let me know. Um, we're praying for you, man. But that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And stick around because there's more coming up this week. And until next time, I bid you farewell.